Yeah, absolutely. I know we were uh, talking earlier. One of the things that just kind of like popped out at me was your use of color. I mean, what do you think was, um, I don't know, what do you think was your first inspiration on just trying to want to use color and want to use that to express yourself? Um, well, you know, I would say a lot of it really comes through music. Uh, the color itself kind of comes along with whatever song I'm listening to or like what I'm feeling at the moment or who I'm thinking about. It really all just kind of depends on like that moment and uh, I guess what that moment means to me, like what color I think of when I see that or what, yeah. what song I hear, you know? Um, yeah, and it, I guess it also just depends on the mood mostly too, but the inspiration for color, oh man. Uh, it just kind of started on its own, like the use, I don't know, I didn't really plan it that way, you know, I didn't plan the art to come out the way it does, but uh, uh, color is definitely what brought my audience in in the first place anyway, and myself included when I started, so yeah, color just in general has a lot to do with the paintings themselves, and the emotion they evoke. Yeah, I feel like there's certain colors that just kind of um, resonate with certain personality types, you know, like certain people are just drawn to like blues and greens and certain people are drawn to like, you know, the reds, yellows, more passionate colors. Uh, let me ask you, when, when you were growing up, was there any certain colors that you kind of gravitated towards? Oh my gosh, definitely green. <laughs> I don't know why that so suddenly came to mind, but uh, like just nature in general has a big influence, like feeling grounded. Uh, so green, thinking about like what other things it goes with besides red, like for Christmas or like yeah. blue with the sky, it's like, okay, well, how can we expand on this to kind of make that color pop? Because, uh, I mean, you can't, you can't really throw, well, I guess you can throw any color with anything if you really think about it and depending on the shades, but like green itself is kind of hard to do alone. Right. Uh, so, you, yeah, uh, uh, I mean, you could, don't get me wrong, like with all the shades of green and all the shades of any color in general, but uh, the combination of the colors, I feel is what makes the painting itself, you know, because if you, if, even if we just use green as an example, you just look at a plain green painting, and I don't know, there's almost a sense of like, what is it missing? Mm -hmm. So adding additional color to make your color per se pop out, uh, is kind of what drew me into it in the first into painting in the first place was seeing what how you can change the way you look at the color and itself if that makes sense <laughs> yeah yeah like how you can uh, use certain colors to complement it and bring out the subtleties like yes. uh, whenever I see like green I always imagine I always immediately want to add yellow to it just because I love that spectrum of green yes. yellow, as as my background would indicate yeah uh, I was just gonna say <laughs> <laughs> but uh but I don't know like I feel like I, I love that transition from yellow to green because like um, I always kind of look at it from a marketing perspective. Um, mm -hmm. certain, certain colors are used in like certain brands or referenced in certain ways, like you said, to trigger an emotional reaction. Um, mm -hmm. So when you look at like that transition from yellow into green, um, you know, from a marketing perspective, yellow is always something that's vibrant, energetic, right? It's the color of the sun. It's uh, mm -hmm. super active. But then green, um, like you said, it's connection to nature or connection to, uh, you know, um, stability, right? Something firm, something yes. lasting that transition into it like you uh it becomes a lot more passive um you know as plants just kind of depend on everything else to survive right they have no active um action of their own besides growing and feeding off of what's presented so i love that transition because i feel like it's that vibrant energy that active passion that kind of fades into the passivity of just letting it be and going with the flow of nature yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, even like if you're looking at a sunset and you see the green in the grass, you can almost see like the transition of color from your landscape to the sky with the vibrancy of the of the yellow yeah. uh, contrasting with the green in the grass. And you know, we all have our own different versions of what beauty looks like, you know, and I guess it would be interpreted differently. Uh, by somebody different, maybe, I don't know, but I guess it depends on how you feel about the color green and the color yellow and how they go together. 
Um, but is that something you're into? You know, you're like, oh, I love nature. I love the way the sun looks against grass. Like that's just your like your color combination. You know, like I first like you love green and yellow. I personally love like the green, yellow, and purple combination. It's like yeah, yeah. it's like royalty plus the sun <laughs> plus nature. It's just like it's the amount of emotion that's brought on by the colors. You know. It gets me. Uh, like in movies, you probably know that color is often used to portray emotion in scenes and such. And I mean, I really played off that, like in my life, just noticing, like, oh, why did they choose a red shirt when this is happening? You know. Yeah. Uh, so I guess somehow tying this into my painting, but um, that's kind of what I like to do. Is like, why am I using this color right now? Like, what is the reason for it and instead of trying to like kind of answer that question mm -hmm. I just kind of let it come out you know um I just let like it's like okay I'm mad what's the color I'm thinking of right now I guess red because that's I'm passionate about whatever I'm thinking about right now I'm angry how am I going to express myself with this feeling well let me get my red paint and my canvas and just see what happens after that and I, and it just kind of builds from there like uh, painting is very therapeutic for me in general, you know, so getting that release and also being to portray that feeling with a color kind of is relieving in a way. It's like, all right, let me, I got it out of that. I got, I got out of that. I got it out of my body. Uh, color. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's important, man. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, particularly when we're talking about like, um, like color is parts of your psyche too, you know, mm -hmm. like it's a very primal thing. Like you were saying, you know, what color is anger, you know, what color is that emotion? It's red. Right. But if mm -hmm. you look how far back that association goes, I mean, red is also the planet Mars, right? Mars was yeah. always the God of war. Right. So there's always all this, um, this, um, this, history of interaction with color and how it's kind of shaped our society, how we perceive the environment around us. Yeah. And then, you know, it's all up to interpretation too. Like, yeah. is, like, like, is my feeling for red the same feeling for you? You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, the yeah. age old question we all tend to kind of ask, like, is your blue, my blue? Um, so I, it's, it's awesome because, you know, that's why art is so, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, hmm perspective oh. oh i can't think of it is this gonna be edited <laughs> <laughs> oh no no no, no. we definitely go uh, free form and raw uh, uh, ah. so, yeah wow. yeah because uh, i don't know well i think some of the best parts of a conversation as well are all like the little goofy ways that we choose to communicate you know what i mean because yeah, yes, we yes. all have these ideas and like i don't know like it particularly when we're excited about expressing those ideas, it's hard to communicate it in words sometimes, which is why art is such a great uh, outlet for that, right? You know, expressing yes, those, yes, those yes. feelings that we just quite can't get out uh, verbally. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So I guess that's why it's so art is so up to interpretation, you know, yeah. like why it hits differently for different people in different ways, you know? Um, Definitely just used to be to evoke emotion is probably the most reason I use or the only reason I use color. <laughs>